John, how are we doing? Everything smooth? Yeah, everything's great. We're ready for the Nintendo Direct, except we don't have Bill. What do you mean we don't have Bill? Where's Bill? And where's my new Nintendo 3DS? Wait, the 3DS with all... Yes, that Nintendo 3DS, the one with all the 2017 games. Uh, I can fix this. You better fix this. You guys, you're gonna help me with the 2016 announcements. John, you're gonna go find Bill. I'm on it. And, and you need to find my new Nintendo 3DS, too. I'm double on it. Make it happen. Okay. But what about the 2017 announcements? Find Bill and find my new Nintendo 3DS. It's been a while since the games Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon were revealed on Nintendo Direct last February, so let's take another look. The story begins when your character moves to the tropical islands of the Alola region and begins his or her journey to become a Pokemon trainer. The first partner Pokemon this time include the Grass Quill Pokemon Rowlet, the Fire Cat Pokemon Litten, and the Sea Lion Pokemon Poplio. You can choose one of these three Pokemon. In addition, the two Pokemon from the box art, Solgaleo and Lunala, hold a vital key to your adventure in Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. On your journey, you'll also encounter regional variant Pokemon with unique looks adapted to the region's native environment. This here is an Alolan Rattata. In addition to a distinct look, its type is dark normal, so it's quite different from the Rattata you know. Apparently, Rattata once swarmed the Alola region, so its people introduced young goose to the area to take care of the problem. But then, in response, Rattata altered their habitat and became nocturnal to avoid young goose, who were active during the day. That's how Rattata adopted their regional variant form. Speaking of changes, there's a new element called Z-moves that'll factor into your Pokémon battles. A Z-move is an extremely powerful skill, initiated when Pokémon and Trainer unleash their full powers together. What type of Z-move a Pokémon can use depends on which Z-crystal the player gives that Pokémon. Some Z-moves are exclusive to a specific type of Pokémon and can only be used after a specific Z-crystal is assigned. There's an early purchase bonus as well. It's Munchlax, who can evolve into Snorlax to go all out. From the time the game launches until January 11th, 2017, you can receive Munchlax in Pokémon Sun and Pokémon Moon. This Munchlax will come with a special item, Snorlium Z. Evolve your Munchlax into Snorlax, then assign the Snorlium Z Crystal to get the special Z-move Pulverizing Pancake. Please check the official Pokémon website for more details after this Nintendo Direct. Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon will launch side by side on November 18th. Moving along, see what you can make of this. It may look like good old Super Mario Maker, which launched last year on Wii U, but this is Super Mario Maker for Nintendo 3DS. This new game is all about playing courses anytime, anywhere, and it gives you 100 built-in courses designed by Nintendo to play right out of the box. These levels have metal challenges, from collecting every coin to defeating every enemy before reaching a goal. I wonder how many medals you can collect. You can also go online to play courses made using the Wii U version. In the spirit of spontaneity, you won't be able to search by course ID, but you will be able to enjoy the 100 Mario Challenge and recommended courses as well. While not every course created in the Wii U version will be compatible with this release, we're confident there'll be no shortage of great content for you to play. You'll also be able to get courses directly from your local friends, but we'll get to that in a bit. Like its predecessor on Wii U, this game lets players freely create their own Super Mario courses, and includes every tool and course part available in that version, save for the Mystery Mushroom and its associated Mario costumes, which are exclusive to the Wii U release. But don't worry if you find course creation a bit intimidating. Mario and Yamamura are back with interactive tutorials that'll have you creating with confidence in no time. While Super Mario Maker on Wii U was all about fostering a big global community, this time we're focused on bringing players together with their local friends to build communities that are more closely knit. So instead of uploading courses online, courses you make will be shareable via local wireless and street pass. We've also added in the ability to share incomplete courses via local wireless. That way you can team up to create courses, which will be marked with a special icon to commemorate your collaboration. Super Mario Maker for Nintendo 3DS will be released on December 2nd, 2016. Next up, Mario Party Star Rush. 
This game has a new mode called Toad Scramble, which puts a big spotlight on little old Toad while introducing a new way to play Mario Party. It can be played single player or multiplayer and involves everyone moving simultaneously from rolling the dice to navigating toward bosses. By eliminating turns, the game is much faster and a bit more strategic too. The fastest player to reach the boss will immediately dive into an action-packed minigame and the other players can join in the fun when they catch up, but Getting there first isn't an instant win. There are other factors at play, so you'll have to think fast and continuously hone your strategy. There are tougher choices in Mario Party than merely picking your favorite character. You'll find Mushroom Kingdom allies on each map, just waiting for a team up. These ally characters expand your movement options, and as they play alongside you in minigames, any points they earn are added to your total. There are other modes too. One of them is Coinathlon, where players race around a track by collecting coins while playing in minigames. It's pure skill, no dice. And in the mode Mario Shuffle, you'll maneuver three pieces to reach the opponent's side of the board. There are lots of ways to party with Mario, seven modes in fact, so how you play is up to you and your friends. Don't forget the game is also compatible with the Super Mario series amiibo figures, including these seven figures that joined the party this fall. They work differently in each mode, so try them all out and see for yourself. Of course, this is Mario Party, so it's packed with mini games. There are a few ways to play together, including up to four player download play, as well as local multiplayer, a first for the series on handheld. If you download the free Mario Party Star Rush Party Guest Edition from Nintendo eShop, you can enjoy four player multiplayer using only one full version of the game, without limitations. Mario Party Star Rush, a new amiibo from the Super Mario series, will release simultaneously on November 4th. Believe it or not, but next up is Animal Crossing New Leaf. This fall, we're releasing a free update for 2013's coziest Nintendo game. It will expand your town's horizons by adding in amiibo functionality and other new features. Of course, the Animal Crossing series amiibo figures and amiibo cards will be compatible, but so will select figures from other series as well. In addition to this update, a new wave of Animal Crossing amiibo cards will release on December 2nd. There are 50 new cards, and each one features a villager we haven't seen yet in Animal Crossing New Leaf, as well as the interior design of that villager's mobile home. You can update your current version of the game, Animal Crossing New Leaf, including the recently launched Nintendo Selects version, or you can purchase a package that includes this update called Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo. With this version, you'll also be gifted a brand new Amiibo card from the wave I mentioned earlier. Pretty soon, we'll be going to town on all of the features included in this update, especially the Amiibo compatibility. So stay tuned for an Animal Crossing Mini Direct coming later this fall. Hey, is this Reggie's Nintendo 3DS? He's gonna be looking for this. Oh. Donuts. Come to daddy. <laughs> Street Pass Me Plaza is marching into new territory. A new update should make your gameplay experience quicker and smoother. In addition to the current Street Pass Me Plaza, we're adding a Quick Plaza, which streamlines the way you play the games. When you visit the Quick Plaza, the gameplay will move along quicker. Greeting messages from Me characters have been simplified, and you can select the game more quickly from the bottom screen and boot it up right away. There will also be a handy adjustment to the plaza gate in Street Pass Me Plaza Premium. Previously, you could only encounter up to 10 players via the Street Pass feature, but now, by sending Me characters you've met via Street Pass to the plaza gate, you can encounter up to 100 players. Alongside the update, we're also adding five new fast paced Street Pass games. You'll race slot cars and compete for the best time against players you encounter through Street Pass in Slot Car Rivals. You'll predict stock prices as advised by the Mies you've met in Market Crashers. You'll cook requested dishes for heroes aiming to rescue the king in Feed Me. You'll explore wild frontiers using the step count of players you've met via Street Pass in Me Trek. And you'll also blast yourself from a cannon to defeat demons in Ninja Launcher. Even for Street Pass, these games are bite sized and deliciously so. Perhaps best of all, you can download either Slot Car Rivals or Market Crashers 
for free. If you take advantage of the free download, you can purchase the four other new games in a special discounted bundle. The new games and updates for Street Pass Mi Plaza and Street Pass Mi Plaza Premium launch shortly after the Direct, along with the free game download. Stay alert, troops! This here's a new game in development for Nintendo 3DS, Tank Troopers. It's the action game that thrusts you into battle behind the wheel of a tank with specialized abilities. A key aspect of this game is the titular Troopers. Depending on the type of troopers you have in your tank, you'll have access to different abilities. They may look like normal tanks, but these babies can strike surrounding enemies with a freeze attack, launch paintballs to block the opponent's views, and use electrical shocks to freeze rival tanks where they stand. This is definitely not your average tank warfare. In addition to single player and a local six player multiplayer mode, the game offers download play as well. That way, up to six players can make war together. Recon tells me that there are other game modes too. The Nintendo 3DS exclusive, Tank Troopers, will be unleashed on Nintendo eShop later this winter. Puzzle Gaming is about to get a fresh new coat of paint in the eShop exclusive Picross 3D Round 2. This time, blocks can be painted with two colors of paint to reveal more elaborate shapes. Using the numbers as hints, you can search for the hidden object in more than 300 puzzles at the cafe, and even tap compatible amiibo figures to uncover secret Nintendo characters. A demo will be available too, real soon after today's Direct. So head to Nintendo eShop on Nintendo 3DS to try some free puzzles. Then, if you have fun, you can purchase the whole game. Picross 3D Round 2 is available today in Nintendo eShop on Nintendo 3DS. At Nintendo, we're committed to working with awesome independent developers. This September, we'll be releasing a new Wii U or Nintendo 3DS title each week in Nintendo eShop at a reduced price for a limited time. It all begins today with Axiom Verge, so check it out on Nintendo eShop and come back every Thursday in September to grab more great games and watch our latest developer spotlight videos. We're also kicking off the month with a contest on Twitter. For the next two weeks, enter for a chance to win all five games and an opportunity to curate your own content shelf on Nintendo eShop. Also, if you're in Seattle this weekend for PAX West, stop by the EMP Museum in Seattle on September 1st, or come to the sixth floor of the Convention Center any day of PAX to try 13 new and unreleased Nindy titles, like Runbow Pocket for Nintendo 3DS or Punch Club. We're bringing some free swag, so I hope to see you there. Hi everyone. Reggie here. 30 years ago, The Legend of Zelda launched in Japan, introducing the world to the hero Link, the Princess Zelda, and the villain Ganon. The game also introduced players to its items, enemies, dungeons, and the intricate puzzles that left you feeling so smart once you solved them. Players of all ages will be able to revisit that original game in all its glory later this year, even if they don't own a current Nintendo console when the Nintendo Entertainment System NES Classic Edition releases on November 11th. And to commemorate the 30th anniversary, this holiday will also be releasing a special series of classic Zelda Amiibo figures, 8-Bit Link, Ocarina of Time Link, and a special two-pack featuring both Link and Zelda from The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. These Amiibo will work as standard Link and Zelda Amiibo respectively, and they will also have special functionality in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild when it releases next year. Additionally, our partners at Dark Horse Comics plan to release three Zelda books as part of the 30th anniversary. The first of these will be The Legend of Zelda Art and Artifacts, featuring more than 2,000 illustrations from The Legend of Zelda series. In fact, you can pre-order the book now on Amazon.com. And if you're really in the mood to immerse yourself in all things Zelda, check for performances of The Legend of Zelda Symphony of the Goddesses, which continues to tour around the country and around the globe. Finally, 
we're happy to announce that the original version of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword will be releasing today in the Nintendo eShop on Wii U. The story is set at the earliest point in Zelda history, so between this release and the release of NES Classic Edition, this fall is the perfect time to see where it all began for the series before the release of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild next year. The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD for Wii U is another one of my favorite Zelda titles, and now part of the new batch of Nintendo Selects titles released last month for both Wii U and Nintendo 3DS. Last month also saw the release of new hardware. The new Nintendo 3DS XL system now comes in a slick new galaxy style design. And we also released the Super Mario 3D Land Edition new Nintendo 3DS system bundle that's available exclusively in a couple retailers in the US and across Canada and Latin America. It comes with two sets of swappable cover plates. The bundle also includes the pre-installed imaginative game, Super Mario 3D Land. I guess playing Mario with Mario has its benefits. Now's a great time to jump in with Nintendo 3DS. Next, we'll take a look at even more content on the way. Great cut! Great, are we all good? You are great, that was awesome. That's not what I mean. Do we have Bill? And do we have my Nintendo 3DS? Uh, not yet. It's all right, we'll pull it all together. Good job, team. Where are my donuts? The fight continues in the game Hyrule Warriors Legends. A third DLC pack is coming, and here's your first look. Hyrule Warriors Legends DLC Pack 3, the Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks Pack will be available from the in-game extras menu as of today. Plus, a season pass for all four packs is already on sale at a discounted price. Court is back in session. The latest game in the Ace Attorney franchise sees Phoenix himself in the courtroom of the Kingdom of Kura Inn. Here, mysterious seance trials decide the fate of all defendants. Meanwhile, Defense attorney Apollo Justice faces his own challenges while holding down the fort at the Right Anything Agency. You can expect puzzling mysteries to solve, a striking cast of characters, and all new investigation techniques. This is one case you'll definitely want to take. OBJECTION! Overruled! Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Spirit of Justice will launch in Nintendo eShop exclusively on Nintendo 3DS September 8th. There are a ton of RPG fans out there waiting for a certain Nintendo 3DS game. I'm talking about the anticipated re-release of Dragon Quest VIII Journey of the Cursed King, which will launch in 2017. Many of us have seen the original version on Top 100 lists, and it's now more feature-rich than ever. But there's another Dragon Quest game on the way even sooner, and it's leveled up as well. Take one look at Dragon Quest VII Fragments of the Forgotten Past, and you can see that this renewed classic has been completely remade from the ground up. There's hours upon hours of new content, too. The Street Pass feature allows you to swap Traveler's tablets with fellow players to access special dungeons and items. And through online distributions, you can encounter new monsters, explore new dungeons, and earn unique rewards. The replayability is through the roof. 
so if you're an old school RPG fan, remember that the game is available for pre-purchase in Nintendo eShop on Nintendo 3DS. If you do pre-purchase the game, you can receive a Dragon Quest VII Nintendo 3DS menu theme for free. Dragon Quest VII Fragments of the Forgotten Past launches exclusively on Nintendo 3DS September 16th. Make sure to check out our playlist of Dragon Quest VII videos on YouTube, which lets you explore and discover many of its new and iconic RPG elements. Game producer Noriyoshi Fujimoto will also be on hand at PAX West in a special developer discussion on the game. Some RPGs have that old school feel, and some have a way of hitting that sweet spot while keeping things fresh. Whether you side with Yokai Watch 2 Bony Spirits or Yokai Watch 2 Fleshy Souls, you're about to travel to the past to witness the origin of the Yokai Watch. There, you'll choose sides and take part in an age old Yokai war between two rival factions. Luckily, You'll also discover the Yokai Watch Model Zero, which gives you two new tactics that makes for more strategic battles. If an enemy is either loafing or inspirited, you can now poke them. And if you're fast enough, you'll earn bonuses in battle, even dealing a little extra damage. And if you fill up the soul meters of a Yokai on your team and adjacent Yokai, you can unleash a powerful end skill like this. Power is certainly on your side, but which side will you choose? Bony? or fleshy. Each version has some unique yokai you can't befriend in the other. Hailing from ancient Japan, the leader of the Bony Spirits faction is Arachnus, who harbors a spidery secret. As for fleshy souls, the leader is Total Dude, the essence of a toad who lived for several centuries thanks to a fresh sense of style. No matter which yokai you befriend, you'll get their medal, and luckily, these medals can be traded between versions. Either way, the initial production run of the retail versions of the game each contain a physical medal that unlocks a new Sultimate move for Jibanya. And the digital versions come with the ability to battle and befriend Robanyan F, Robanyan F, or Sailor Nyan. Sailor Nyan! You can try the game yourself when the demo version arrives in Nintendo eShop mid September. So many choices, which means it's time to choose your side when the game launches for Nintendo 3DS on September 30th. Here's a quick reminder for all you Disney fans out there. Disney's Magical World 2 is headed to Nintendo 3DS on October 14th. If you pre-purchase the game, you'll receive some free in-game outfits. Do characters like Olaf, Anna, and Elsa ring a bell? That's right, free Frozen outfits. And luckily, the game is available for pre-purchase in Nintendo eShop on Nintendo 3DS and at select retailers. If you want to learn more about those cool unlockables in the game, head to the official website. Here's a sneak peek. I saw quite a bit of Disney magic in there, which reminds me, there are new Disney themes headed to the Nintendo 3DS theme shop too. This year is Sonic the Hedgehog's 25th anniversary, and his latest game infuses the series' characters with some new elements, fire and ice. Just look at him go! There are modes for both single player and two player competitions. You'll notice that the controls make it easy to switch between characters, which should give speedrunners some much needed adrenaline. While the game harnesses the tone of the popular animated series Sonic Boom, it also forges a new path and tells its own story. If I had to guess, Dr. Eggman is about to get wrecked, and so will the new villain, Defect. You can make sure that happens when the game launches exclusively on Nintendo 3DS on September 27th. The North American Launch Edition also packs in a three-episode Sonic Boom DVD. 
Humans, demons, and gods are about to face off in a true war of worlds. That's right. The long-awaited continuation of the beloved RPG, Shin Megami Tensei 4, is now available for pre-order. If you enjoyed the original game, this sequel will show you another side into the story, and take you into the events that follow. But if you didn't play the original, fear not. Shin Megami Tensei 4 Apocalypse can be enjoyed as a completely standalone experience. All first-run versions of the game contain a metal emblem set as a free bonus. So keep that in mind when the game storms exclusively to Nintendo 3DS on September 20th. Well, team? Without that 3DS and without Bill, I don't know how we're going to announce those 2017 games. What are we going to do? Bill? What on earth? It is him. Bill! Bill! Where have you been? The island. It spoke to me. Revealed secrets of the universe. The 3DS lineup. There's so much hope. Bill, this, this beard. I didn't have this a few hours ago. Hours? It's been years, man! Are you sure you can present? <sighs> yeah, I'm fine. What's for lunch? Warning, the next 18 seconds will be utterly adorable. You're looking at the Nintendo 3DS version of Yoshi's Woolly World, an adventurous Yoshi game set in a world of yarn. It contains some new features, not to mention every single stage in the Wii U version. There are also exclusive new stages focused on Poochie. Time Poochie's jump to collect beads as you head for the goal. I'm also excited to introduce you to the miracle of Poochie Pups. Poochie Pups are curious little helpers who jump on suspicious spots to indicate where you should look for secrets and collectibles if you call them out to do so. And, as you saw earlier, we're developing animated shorts in collaboration with the stop-motion animation studio, Dwarf. The Nintendo 3DS version packs in 30 of these shorts, showing the daily lives of Yoshi and Poochie. We'll also be releasing a yarn amiibo figure of Poochie, just as he appeared in these episodes. Stay tuned for more info about the game's amiibo functionality. Poochie and Yoshi's Woolly World will be released February 3rd, 2017, as will the Pucci Amiibo on the very same day. We'll offer a special bundle that includes the game and the Pucci Amiibo. Now let's look at an action-adventure RPG we announced on Nintendo Treehouse Live at E3 2016, Ever Oasis. Mr. Koichi Ishii of Grezzo is the producer and the director of this title. As the creator of the legendary Chocobo and Moogle, as well as the Mana series at Square Enix, Mr. Ishii will bring decades of experience to Ever Oasis and the character design is done by famed illustrator Yoshinori Shizuma. Ever Oasis takes place in a sprawling desert and the oasis at its heart. As a chosen seedling, you'll travel between this desert and oasis, collecting duodems to make your oasis bloom. Travelers with different wants, needs, and wishes will visit your oasis and folks living there will sell products made from the materials you've gathered in the desert. They'll even offer hospitality to weary travelers. In contrast to your lively oasis, with its bustling shops all in a row, the desert is a harsh world where inhabitants live under threat of a dark force known as chaos. With your desert-dwelling friends in mind, you must set off on an adventure across this cruel terrain and locate the dungeons scattered throughout. Allies will join your cause, each one strengthening your team with a specific weapon and a unique skill set. Certain weapons are effective against certain enemies, and particular skills are required to solve puzzles in every dungeon. So it's important to team up with the right ally for the job and switch between characters to utilize their skills in battle or when solving puzzles. Items claimed in the desert can be used as materials to craft other items that can be obtained at shops or given to certain travelers in search of them. 
By doing so, you'll help travelers accomplish their goals and fulfill their wishes. In fact, they may cozy up to the idea of moving in and living at your oasis as an ally. As your oasis blossoms, it will grow, thanks to the power of the water spirit, Izuna. May your journey lead you to Ever Oasis when the game releases in 2017. Next is a new title, Mario Sports Superstars. This compilation includes five sports. Soccer, baseball, tennis, golf, and horse racing. And when we say soccer, we're talking the full-on 11 versus 11 rules. These are full-scale sports, and there's more to them than you may expect. There's not only a single-player tournament mode for all five sports, there's also local and online multiplayer modes, so you can compete against your friends and family locally or against the best players from around the globe. Mario Sports Superstars will be released in Spring 2017. Let's dig into our final game of the day. The mysterious creatures known as Pikmin are joining the fearless space explorer Olimar for a side-scrolling adventure game on Nintendo 3DS. Pikmin follow Olimar around, and then you tap the touchscreen where you want to throw. They'll get to work right away. Moving objects, battling creatures, or carrying treasure while heading for the goal. As always, red Pikmin are fire resistant. Blue Pikmin love water. And yellow Pikmin can be thrown to higher ground and avoid electrocution. It's just you, your colorful friends, and a perilous series of tasks you could only describe as an adventure. This Pikmin game is being designed with action in mind. It will make you think fast and utilize every Pikmin to overcome anything that stands in your way. This new side-scrolling Pikmin adventure will be released in 2017. Good. Bill, great job. It's wonderful to have you back. Thanks, Reggie. But, but where's my Nintendo 3DS? Oh, yeah! Just a sec. Oh.